Hey guys, welcome to Broken Branch Wood Shop. My name is Mark. We've got a good video for you today. Uh, we're going to be going over this custom uh, Amazing Grace sign that my wife wanted and designed up uh, in Lightburn. We're going to be cutting it today on the Laguna Smart Shop uh, EX. And so let's go along with us and see how the process goes. All right, guys, so we've got the project opened up in Lightburn here. As you can see, this is going to be a two-part cut on this, and so we'll do the uh, the bottom piece uh, with the lyrics. You can't tell on here right now. Uh, my wife got this designed up, and um, so where the Amazing Grace is on the second layer, those pieces are actually missing in the first layer, so that whenever it's lined up, um, it'll all, there we go it'll go you can see it'll go the words will line up right there so uh, i think it's gonna look pretty good so we will uh delete the one make the first cut come back and make the second cut so let's get that one deleted off of there and uh we've got that one pulled up we've already got the laser uh brought in and uh zero to the board we're going to frame it now to make sure we've got the the tape on there and it kind of reduces the burn marks and so um, we're going to get it framed make sure that we're within that range and uh, we'll get to cutting so let's everything that got the stained dry on there this is a dark walnut stain i don't know if i picked it up in the the video last night whenever we were getting this thing stained but this is a dark walnut stained we got all of the green tape pulled off of uh, the bottom piece and the reason we put it on the bottom piece and not the top is because when you're doing the engraving part of it uh, it tends to to burn across the top so when we put the the masking tape on there you can use painter's tape any any kind of tape in that way then the burn on the outside of it will stick to the tape a little bit will get through in certain places but where that did we give it a light sanding and got that all cleaned up and you don't so much need it on the top piece because it's not doing engraving it's actually doing a cutting through of the board so the burn is very very minimal and especially when you're doing it like this and you're doing a dark stain on it anyway it doesn't really matter uh, everything all of that's going to get covered up so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, attach the top of this to the bottom we want to make sure we got everything lined up especially in this the way that she done um, the design is where the amazing grace is in here then there's actually blank spots throughout this bottom piece and so we want to get that lined up uh, how we're going to attach it we're going to attach it with two different kinds of glue um, some people don't like using two different kinds, um, and I'll explain to you the reason why I'm going to use these two different kinds. I'm going to use a combination of wood glue and CA glue, and then we're just going to clamp it uh, with some of these little band clamps and these smaller type clamps. We don't nothing necessary for the big one, but what we'll end up doing is 
kind of space them out. We'll do a little bit of CA, a little bit of wood glue. The wood glue is going to keep it better over time, allow it to soak into the wood. Um, but the, uh, the CA glue will give us a quick bond and give it time to do. So we're going to put those on there. And once we get it clamped and in place, then just in case this hasn't dried all the way, then we'll spray it with a little bit of accelerator uh, at the end. All right, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. You don't want to go too heavy on this. It's not gonna. It's not gonna take much, and we'll we'll spread it around there as we move forward. And like I said, we'll have some strips in here of the. CA as well. Just wipe this off the finger there. Got just a little bit more. And then we'll go with this medium CA. Again, not going super heavy. But in some of these places that we don't have, you don't want to take too much time in this. You don't want it to set up. All right. We'll get just a few little places on here to help get us started. All right, let's do it. Try to line this corner up. Looks like it's lined up in some of those blank places pretty good there. I'll give it just a quick little bit of pressure there. I want to make sure that we're good and lined up and we'll pull it out to the edge and get some of these clamps on here. This is going to also help with some of the lining up. We're a little bit over there. Whoop, I lost the other clamp held on to it. Slide that back down. That shifted on us just a little bit there, but uh, not bad at all. And we'll give it just a all right, and we will let that set up for just a little bit and uh, and dry and get just a little bit of that wood glue squeeze out in a couple of places you know, just so you don't have to sand it back down give that a little wipe we'll be good to go we'll come back in just a little bit after this dries and we'll spray it down with some lacquer all right, now that we've given this a uh, few minutes to dry, it doesn't take very long at all with the, the CA and it being activated. And so it is gonna hold just, just fine. So we've got the clamps taken off. Now we're gonna set them up on a set of bench cookies. You use whatever you have for your finishing techniques and we're gonna get it sprayed down uh, with a coat of matte lacquer. So let's go ahead and do that now. This front edge sprayed there. Get the 
edge is good. The thing about with the uh, the laser, you want to make sure that you get a good coat of lacquer on the edges, and that kind of seals up the, uh, the the burn marks on the side. You don't want to get any of that on your hands or anything, and so that gives it a gives it a good seal. So we'll give this time to dry, and we'll come back to you. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out in the shop with us today. We really appreciate it. Uh, we, we enjoyed this project and we hope that you did too. And if you did, uh, hit that like button, uh, share the video if you, if you will. And uh, please consider giving us a subscribe to the channel if you've not done so uh, already. If you're interested in uh, a project like this, uh, please visit us on uh, our Etsy shop, which we'll have a link uh, in the description of the video below that. And if you're a maker out there watching the video and you're interested uh, in something like this, we'll also have the file uh, available on Etsy as well. You'll be able to check that out and, uh, and go and, and cut something like this for yourself. Uh, but like I said, we had, had a great time building it, and we appreciate you guys being here with us today. And so until next time, be safe out there and we'll see you back in the shop. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. Video, uh, or on any of your your social media accounts uh, and if you <laughs>